Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish and today we will discuss about complete roadmap for both digital profiles and lock and digital. Today's plan because from most of the IITs and NITs your placement seasons most for most of the IITs for BTEC and MTEC your placement season will start from 1st of December 1st of December right so how can you prepare for interviews or let's say uh, few OAS are also left how can you prepare for that comprehensively so we'll discuss about that don't worry there will be there will be free resources as well there will be paid resources as well okay and you will get the paid resources at minimum price but if you don't want to study from the paid resources you can study from the free resources as well there is no problem at all so what is the rough content okay for both analog and digital for analog VLSI you have to study and network theory analog electronics and aptitude these three are the main chapters in inside analog there is a bit of control theory as well bit of signals is also there okay but mostly these are the three uh, important subjects that you need to study right so roughly uh, the content of analog is around 180 plus hours and for digital you need to study digital electronics verilog and coa and of course aptitude is there so roughly overall for each domain right the duration would be around 200 to 250 plus hours including aptitude excluding aptitude i have shown you including aptitude it will be around 200 to 250 hours so how can you cover it in 100 days what will be the best plan so that is what i will explain now first of all i want to say that you cannot cover both of them together in 100, day, 100 days that will be very very difficult for you to cover okay just give me one second let me check one thing yeah everything is fine that will be very very difficult for you to cover right so I'm telling you the plan for a single profile. Either you prepare for analog or digital. Don't worry, I will tell it, tell it for both, but separately. I will tell for both, but but separately, not together. Okay. But if you are someone who is very confident and who has already uh, studied bit of analog and digital for placements, right? Then you can cover both of them simultaneously. There is no problem. But I will tell them separately. Okay. Few there are few conditions. First condition is you need to at least get three hours. You need to at least study three hours daily. Okay, some days it might happen that you are not able to get that amount of time. You will compensate that in the other day in which you are able to uh, get that amount of time. Like in weekends, you can get more time. In weekdays, maybe you, you will have some class test, you will have some viva. So it's okay. But in other days, you have to compensate that uh, missing time. And three hours, I don't, by three hours, I mean you fully focus like it is a fully focused study of three hours it's not like you are just sitting on the table for three hours watching youtube scrolling reels no three hours of completely focused study okay now uh, how to study how to study like if you study from if you purchase from our course right if you study from our courses we provide printable notes we provide both the pdfs as well as printable notes okay those students who are comfortable in studying from pen tab, they can study from the PDF. Those students who are not comfortable with pen tab, they can take the print print out of printable notes, right? We provide the, with white background, they can print out the notes and study from that. Don't make your own notes, okay? Study from the printable notes only. How to study? I have made a video. Just search this video. You will understand how to study from the printable notes because you have to save your time because you have to cover around 250 hours of content. That will be not that simple. So you will take out the uh, printout of the notes and how to study from the printable notes. I've explained over there. Go and type this video. You'll get this video. Now, another question would be, sir, what if it does not work out? What if I don't get the placement? So the great feature for our course is that let's say you purchase the placement course and you are not getting your desired placement or something. So you can always upgrade to the gate course of our Titans batch. You can always do that with the uh, extra amount. So whatever amount you have spent with the ex extra amount, you can, p uh, you can ping us in our whatsapp number in our website we have the whatsapp you can ping us on there that sir i have bought this placement course but uh, now i want to prepare for gate okay so you can always pay the additional amount and you can always prepare for gate as well if this placement thing does not work out for you so that is the great feature for our courses because we uh, prepare we teach for both placements and for gate okay that is the advantage now of course if you don't want to study from paid resources there are free resources you can always study from free resources these two are the like you can search on linkedin go to my profile these two are my pinned post right featured post uh, one post is for digital vlsi other post is for analog vlsi you can go and look up all the resources that i have mentioned there these are the free resources that you can study okay now a few things uh, 
those for those students who are preparing for placements few things you must do is first of all don't neglect aptitude aptitude is actually pretty important because it might come in come in your written test and they are asking good questions in aptitude so cover aptitude from us having few easy level cat problems because sometimes what happens the level of aptitude in placements is on the higher side than the gate aptitude so that's why practice easy level gate problems also first of all cover the basics then you move on to the difficult topics for technical subjects because your interviews will start from basics and slowly they will build up to difficult so if you are not able to clear the basics you will not be able to clear the difficult topics so first start slowly then you will pick up the pace also make sure you are watching our mock interview videos okay there are many mock interviews from myself and himanshu and few other youtubers also are there so you make sure you watch those mock interview videos and yeah uh, you will get a very good idea how to uh, present yourself in the interview okay also uh, try to remain calm and composed in the interviews okay uh, practice from our placement courses for written tests written tests so make sure you practice from our placement courses site we are, uh, if you purchase our courses we provide test series so we can practice uh, questions for written test on from our test series also you can practice for gate pyqs for practicing uh, written test questions okay now first of all i will discuss about analog vlsi roadmap then i will come to digital vlsi roadmap what is the analog vlsi roadmap so first of all we will start with network neto theory in network theory there are three chapters basics network theorems and transient so for basics and network theorems i'm giving you 10 days it will not take you much time because you are already in a good college you have already basic idea of these topics so i'm giving you 10 days is more than enough to cover this content next in the next 10 days i'm giving you transient to cover transient only a single chapter that is transient because transient is a very very important uh, chapter that's that's why i have made this three star most important topic for placements is transient so i'm giving you 10 days to cover the transient and it's okay if you uh, are taking one two days extra from whatever days i have mentioned here it's totally fine even four days is also fine right even four days is also fine no problem at all uh, but make sure you are covering the backlog okay so i'm giving you around 20 days to cover the 50 hours of content and this content is not that difficult network we study electrical light this will not take you much time to cover okay now uh, you cover the next 8 uh, days what you will do in the next 8 days you will cover basics of controls like a few miscellaneous concepts which are not analog electronics but you need to cover those for interview related so these are miscellaneous uh, topics for control systems so you have to cover frequency response board plots those things for control systems also a few miscellaneous concepts like such as uh, what will happen as a square uh, rc circuits with pulse square input okay rc circuits with square pulse input then we have switch capacitors also few transient response of rl circuits few transient response of rc circuits so those videos are there make sure you watch those pole zero videos are also there make sure you watch those videos okay so this i'm giving you 8 days to cover also in this 8 days you finish any backlog whatever you have left right till now i am not telling you to practice any gate pyqs now from the 29th day onwards you will start with gate pyqs of ec no need to cover um, solve all the branches only for ec you can solve it's no, nothing mandatory that you need to solve from 2015 to 2025 at least at minimum solve this range okay you start solving the gate pyqs of network theory of gate ec also you will start with the chapter 1 of analog electronics that is diode circuits okay you will start with the chapter 1 of analog electronics that is diode circuits okay uh, uh, i am giving you 8 days to cover diode circuits diode circuits is not that difficult topic i think you will be able to cover diode circuits in 8 days in the next uh, like 14 days i am giving you 14 days to cover part 1 of mosfet part 1 of mosfet what is part 1 of mosfet so part 1 of mosfet is before the frequency response right here frequency response will begin before the frequency response i'm uh, giving you enough time to cover part 1 of mosfets also i'm giving you 14 days so my expectation is you're finished with all the gate pyqs network pyqs in this 14 days you're finished with all the network pyqs again remember this is a very very important topic for analog vlsi profile so make sure you study this well i'm giving you that's why i'm giving you more time in this okay next again another 10 days i'm giving i'm providing you another 10 days to uh, cover the second part of mosfet that is basically the frequency response of mosfet and concept of half circuit and uh, this mos amplifier body dot body effect all these things okay so i'm giving you another 
uh, this uh, 10 days to cover okay and also in this day 51 you are you will start with the topic wise test series of network theory so we provide topic wise test series if you want to uh, uh, prepare for us you can uh, prepare for any other resource topic wise test series of network theory okay so you will start with topic wise test series of network theory and you will finish the mosfets and from day 61 to 74 you will start with opams and also you will solve the gate pvqs of analog diode circuits okay also you will solve the gate pvqs of analog diode circuits uh, start solving the chapter 1 gate pvqs okay and you will finish the opam not complete opam part 1 of opam just till the active clipper clamper till assignment 16 okay these topics you will finish okay don't worry all this brochure and all those things will be pinned in the comments below link you can ha ha get access to the brochure don't worry about it okay and yeah from day 61 to 74 you will finish all these topics and then from 75 to 80 from 75 to 80 uh, you will finish the remaining topic of opam okay like there are a few important videos of opam you will finish these videos okay you will you will be done with network theory test series and you will be starting with the pyqs of the gate pyqs of the mosfets okay that will be your target for the next 5 days okay and from day 81 to 88 you will start with topic wise test series of analog electronics okay you will start with diode circuits and also you will cover bjt's now bjt's is not that important topic for placement point of view okay that's why i'm i'm telling you to cover bjt's along with aptitude okay along with aptitude you cover bjt bjt is not that important it might be important for written test but in interviews it very rarely gets asked okay so yeah aptitude you uh, prepare so these these are these are the topics that i'm expecting you are fi uh, finished in the first eight days okay and bjt's and then here in the next eight days you will finish the remaining topics of aptitude okay and also you will I, i'm expecting you are starting with the topic wise test series of mosfets Diode has been finished you are starting with the topic wise test series of mosfet okay and in the next four days you will solve all the gate p okay uh, of the aptitude that are, th these videos are present you will cover these and then you will start attempting the topic wise test series of aptitude also you will be finished with the analog topic wise test series so this was the total 100 days plan i'm giving you more time actually uh, than required so that even if there is some problem you will get some buffer okay so this was the roadmap for the analog vlsi profile let's now come to the roadmap for the digital vlsi profile so for the digital vlsi profile uh, first of all we will study digital electronics okay then we will study very long then we will cover together coa and aptitude again coa right few companies ask coa computer organization and architecture few companies do not ask uh, do not ask computer organization and architecture so it depends it varies from company to company right so in the first 16 days in the first 16 days i am expecting you to cover uh, till chapter 3 okay uh, chapter 3 like this will not take you much time so first 8 days you take to cover these basics right basic of boolean algebra uh, then we have uh, k map representation then number system so these three chapters you take first 8 days not that difficult these are very very simple topics and the next 8 days you will take to cover combinational circuits that is again a very very important topic for placement point of view so i'm giving you 8 days to cover combinational circuits now after finishing this 16 days then we will come to digital sequential circuits again very very important topic for placement point of view so uh, i'm giving you 10 days to cover the part one of sequential before fsm that is uh, till delay synchronous uh, delay in synchronous counters all these things right i'm giving you 10 days to cover uh, till this part another eight days you take to cover fsm and sequence detector again this is a very very important topic for placement point of view so you will study this okay so yeah this was the uh, sequential circuit so till now i'm again i'm not telling you to cover any pyqs or something right so from here you will take another six days to cover the edc dsc part not that important for placement point of view but can be asked in written test again logic families also can be asked in written test so overall i'm, I'm giving you 40 days to cover 71 hours of content that is more than enough time okay and also you will start with the gate pyqs here right in this duration you will start with the gate pyqs of digital of chapter 1 and slowly you'll move on to chapter 2 chapter 3 chapter 4 and so on now in the next 41 to 50 days you will start very long also you are covering get pyqs also you will start very long module 1 so i have divided my very log into two modules these are the topics for the module 1 and these are the topics for the module 2 so module uh, 
model one it should take you around 10 days okay and uh, i am expecting that you are able to finish the gate purchase of digital as well in this 10 days in more once you will start with model two from day 51 you are starting with a uh, test series of uh, digital also you will finish the free log model two that's it okay that will take you around 60 like 60 days okay i'm giving you 20 days to cover 27 hours of content it might take you more hour more time so that's why i'm giving you 20 days okay also you're covering the uh, pyq so i'm giving you more time now from 61 to 72 that is for the next 12 days you will study coa and aptitude in parallel because the both of these are actually what both of these like coa i don't know i'm not sure whether it will be asked in your placements or not sometimes mostly it gets asked sometimes it does not get asked so that's why i'm telling you to prepare both coa and aptitude together okay so 12 days this part one of coa is very important so you'll cover this part two of coa that is cash memory is also very important this part three is not that important right so i have given it at the last i have given it at the last so you'll cover this part one computer architecture and uh, instruction pipelining in 12 days also you'll study these topics for uh, general aptitude in 12 days and uh, don't worry just you start with the topic wise test of digital no need to practice uh, Vlog because Vlog is not that difficult. Uh, test series is there. I will tell you to attempt the test series later on. Okay. In the next eight days, you will cover the cache memory completely. Along with that, you will cover the remaining topics of the uh, aptitude. And also you are attempting the digital topic wise test series. Okay. In the next uh, 10 days, what you're doing in the next 10 days. Now you will cover the remaining topics of COA. Okay. It's okay if, even if you're not able to cover it because I'm giving you a 10 days buffer and you will cover the gate PYQs. In the next 10 days, you will cover the gate PYQs solutions. Okay. And in this duration, you will start with the topic was test of Verilog. And I'm expecting that in day 80, you are done with the topic was test of digital. Okay. So that was the overall 100 days plan. I'm giving you 10 days buffer. So even if one, two days extra you need, you can take it. Okay. So yeah, that was the plan for both analog and digital. So now I'm giving you, uh, talking about the paid resources. So uh, this brochure will be provided in the pinned comments in the comments below. Okay, uh, you can download this brochure. You can see what topics are required to study for analog and digital VLSA profile. Also, if you visit our website, all types of placement courses are there, gate courses are there. If you apply the code PREP, P-R-E-P, -E if you apply the code PREP, you will get the all the courses at maximum discount because currently huge uh, discount is running, okay. Uh, so you can get the maximum discount if you apply the code PREP. Okay. So that was the roadmap for both analog and digital VLSA profile. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button and I will see you in the next video. Until then, happy learning.